Live from Television City in Hollywood, My Friend Irma. Created by Cy Howard and starring Marie Wilson as Irma with Mary Ship as Kay. If you're wondering what I'm doing up at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm waiting up for Irma. She's been behaving very suspiciously this past week. Goes out every night, won't tell me where she's going, what she's doing, or any... Oh, stick around. This should be very interesting. talking to myself. Huh. <laughs> talking to myself is uh, more or less an occupational disease, which always happens when you live with and love my friend Irma. What a picture. Paid the nightclub photographer a hundred bucks for it. Uh-huh. We got a good story, too. Listen to this. Thomas J. Barrington, Jr., noted flyer, playboy, and middleweight champion of the nightclub circuit, fought a return match last night in the swanky Arabian room. Young Barrington's father, the inventor and builder of the Army's famous Barracuda jet, could not be reached for comment. Are you listening? Well, oh, oh, sure. Mm -hmm. But this story is only the beginning. There was a lady with Barrington, Jr. last night. She left just before the last round. But we know that she wasn't Mrs. Barrington, Jr., Hmm. alias Lorette Fenton, the big movie star. I've heard rumors of a secret divorce. Boy, I'd like to dig up the details on that story. I... You haven't heard a word I've said for the last five minutes. Come on, honey, what's on your mind? Irma. The fruitcake? Yeah. And what's with her? Just wait. Just take a look at these. Wow. Turn them off. Where'd those come from? Irma's been bringing them home. Where'd she get them? She won't say. That's why I'm worried. Move over. I'll worry with you. <laughs> <laughs> this is all in one week, Brad. There must be some explanation. Well, I... Oh, hi, Kay. Hi. <laughs> hi, Brad. Wait a minute. Huh? Where'd you get all that loot? Now who? Now who? No. Guess again. <laughs> Irma Peterson, you tell me. Oh, I can't, Kate. Oh, it's getting late. I gotta go in and put a new face on. Oh, Kate, hey, will you put this in the box with the rest of my knickknacks? <laughs> knickknacks? Irma Peterson, where are you going? Well, I told you I have to go to work tonight. This is work? <laughs> you said you had to work last night. When I called the office, there wasn't any answer. Yeah, I can't understand that. Unless, of course, it was because I wasn't there. <laughs> Where were you? Don't ask any questions. Everything's all right. Honest. Honest? No. Oh, Brad, what do you think? Don't ask me. When you're a newspaper man, you have a cynical outlook on life. Oh, now, Brad, she said that everything was all right. Okay, okay. I won't say another word. I don't like the tone of your silence. All right, what's the matter? What do I do? I got to get to the paper. Brad? <laughs> I wasn't thinking anything, honest. Brad, wait. I think we better help her. She needs our help. She seems to be doing all right by herself. <laughs> Besides, I have more important things on my mind. Maybe I can dig up something on the Barrington Jr. angle. Hmm. Hmm. The fruitcake. Uh. <laughs> Hey, watch where you're going. Uh, Someday I'm going to belt that newsboy. He 
sure your insurance is paid up. Okay, okay. Where's Chicken? We have a date for tonight. He's in the bedroom. Thanks. Hiya, Chicken. Hi, sweetie. Mm, you look beautiful. Oh, I'm sure glad you didn't forget about our date. Date? Oh, I forgot to tell you, honey, I have to work tonight. But, Chicken, you worked last night. Yeah, and the night before. Oh, I'm sorry, Al, honey. How come Clyde is so busy? Ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies. <laughs> oh, thanks for making you buy, Kate. Bye, Al. <laughs> what are we, fraternity brothers? <laughs> Looks like. Okay, you don't suppose she's seeing that clown Chuck again, do you? Or that head doctor of hers? No, Al, I don't think so. <laughs> she finally told me I was her one and only. But you know how chicken counts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kate, hmm? come here. Get a load of that car. Wow, that's ten feet longer than the Super Chief. <laughs> oh, I know. Calls for her every night. Where do you suppose she goes? She won't tell. Ah, it's nothing. I'm not worried. Suppose she has met somebody else. Suppose he has got a lot of money. Suppose he has got a car and a chauffeur. She still got me. Yes? You know what? What? I'm worried. Well, I'm awfully sorry, Agnes. I can't make it. No. I have to work again. No, I can't tell you what I'm doing. Somebody's at the door. I'll call you back. Bye. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Who is it? It's me. Who is me? It's Mr. Clyde. Open up. Uh, Mr. Barrington told me not to let anybody in. You know who I am. Open up that door. Well, it sounds like Mr. Clyde. Yep, looks like Mr. Clyde. <laughs> You got any identification? Open that door, you're fired! Yeah, thank you, all right, Mr. Clyde. Now, what's going on here, Miss Pinson? Oh, thanks, Mr. Clyde. Everything in this room is, is top secret. I know, I know. Where's Mr. Barrington? Oh, well, he had to go someplace his son. I don't know something about it. Yeah, well, I was, I was very fortunate. I picked up an option on this land for him this morning. How's everything going, anyway? Oh, fine. I guess. You, you guess. Miss Peterson, I have a $5,000 fee at stake in this Barrington deal. Well, now, don't worry. I won't upset it. <laughs> See what you did? Why did he insist on buying you for secretary? Probably knew if you did shoot off your mouth about this project, you wouldn't tell the story straight anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, Mr. Barrington doesn't complain about my work. Uh, he knows more words than you do. A and he can spell the words without looking them up in the dictionary. Mr. Peterson, <laughs> let me repeat. Please be careful. For my sake. Oh, now, don't worry, Mr. Clyde. I'll be careful. But please, couldn't I please tell Kay? Uh, uh, don't what? tell anyone. Suppose the news got out that I was buying options of land for Mr. Barrington. The prices would go sky high. He'd never be able to build his plane factory. Oh, but, uh, gee, yeah, I know, but, gosh, every day I work for him, he gives me some kind of a present, and Kay's getting suspicious. And so am I. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I've explained why, I'll never know. Oh. But don't you worry about it. Enough. Your picture on the front page of all the disgraceful exhibitions. You know perfectly well that I don't want anyone to know I'm in town. But, Dad, this jerk swung at Well, hello. Hello. Mm-hmm. Now, where have you been hiding this little night fighter? Now, none of that. This is Miss Peterson. She's doing some work for me. Mr. Clyde is lending her to me. Lending her? I'd like to get a card to his library. <laughs> Just about enough out of you. Here. Here's your bag. I'll probably regret letting you out of my sight, but you get the first plane to Chicago. Yes, sir. And may fortune smile on your real estate transaction. I'll see you in the Windy City. How about my car? Now, I'll take care of that. You just get going. Yes, sir. Say, beautiful. What time do you get off work? Will you get on that plane? Miss Peterson, I apologize for myself. 
Oh, that's all right. He didn't do anything any other red-blooded American boy wouldn't do. <laughs> he hasn't been himself since the divorce. The divorce? Yeah, that's a shame. Uh, 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 yes, uh, Mr. Barrington. I was fortunate enough to get an option on this piece here for you this morning. Good, good. Now, this area is all we need. Mm -hmm. But we've only got until tomorrow at 12 o'clock to get it. Otherwise, these other options expire. Well, I'll get it, TJ. I'll get it. Yes, yes. well, when you do, and when we know that we've got the whole track sewed up, then I'll call the broker and give the order to buy. Well, don't use that white phone. <laughs> no good. You're all you get is some real estate man. Oh, Miss Peterson, I had this, this white phone installed especially. It's a direct line to my broker. And he'll be on it all day, waiting for the buy order. So please don't use it. Uh, Mr. Barrington, don't you think it would be safer if she didn't... No, 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 not at all. Now, Miss Peterson has been a great help. She's doing just fine. <laughs> well, I'll run along, then. Yes, do that, will you, Clyde? And you call me as soon as you hear. I'll call you. <laughs> now, Miss Peterson, you do understand that this is all top secret. And that, that's why I chose an unknown attorney like your Mr. Clyde to handle it for me. Well, you got the right man. Nobody knows him. <laughs> here are all contracts and letters you asked me to type. Yes, all right. Well, I'll handle those. Oh, and uh, here are the, um, the stamps I bought for you. Yes. Oh, and uh, here's your change. Uh, that was uh, 38 cents. Oh, no. yeah. oh and uh, here's three cents uh, for a stamp I use myself. You know, Miss Peterson, that's really why I like you. You don't try to take advantage of me, even in the small things. Well, I didn't get as poor as I am by being dishonest. <laughs> <laughs> well, at any rate, that's why I enjoy giving you what you think are the, the big things. I've got another present for you today. Oh. oh, yes, I was going to give it to you tomorrow when the deal was closed, but why wait? Here. Oh, but really, you can't. You've given me some Oh, no, 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 please. I like you. There are no strings attached. Oh. Anyway, this is all stuff I managed to get back from the gold diggers who are trying to take that rattlebane son of mine. Gee, thanks. Real mink-dyed mink. -dyed mink. <laughs> Isn't even dyed, it's dead. <laughs> he wasn't even rabbit before it was mink. <laughs> well, you just wear it and enjoy it. Oh, I, ha I have something for you too, Mrs. Barrington. Something for me? Sure. A, a, pre well, a present for you're, me? You're always giving me so many things, I... Gee, I, I, I hope you like it. Well, I'm sure I, I like her. Yeah, it. Yeah, it isn't genuine silver, but the flint is real. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's a long time since anyone gave me anything. Well, I, I didn't put gasoline in it, but you probably have your own credit card. <laughs> you won't be needing me. I'll, I'll run along if you don't mind. Yes, that's all right. Oh, 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 I, I dismissed the chauffeur. You can take my son's Jaguar. Oh, thanks, but we're not allowed to have animals in the apartment. <laughs> well, it's, it's pretty late, though. You better phone for cash. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the, not the white phone. This is the phone to my broker's office. You remember it? Oh, yeah. oh well, yeah. I, I'll, uh, I'll get a cab downstairs. Uh, gee, I hope Kay understands this. Minks are such good little animals, but they have such a bad reputation. <laughs> Honey, be sensible. A, a mink stole diamond? Yeah. Hey, you haven't got kleptomania. Of course not. I'm taking shots. <laughs> Talk to her. Honey, look, what could it possibly be that you couldn't tell me? Don't you trust me? Of course I trust you, Kate. Do that for me. Bye, Kate. Bye, Al. Bye, Now cut that out! <laughs> Kate, yeah? write this down, will you please? Write what? The license number. Hey, that's a good idea. Red Jaguar, yeah. Illinois plate, 2X2Z792. Got it. Well, we're all set. We've got the license number. What do we do with it? Brad. Brad. Yeah, the paper can trace that car. Good idea. Sure. Hello, Brad. Darling, listen, could you trace an Illinois license number for me? Well, 
I have an appointment in a half an hour with Williams and Fenner about the option on this last piece. Yeah, well, I know, but that's cutting it pretty fine, you know. Those those options expire at 12 o'clock. Oh, no, no, don't, don't, don't. Just, just wait. Everything is running smoothly. Well, I hope it is, because if, if one word of this gets out... Oh, now, I... don't worry. We've kept this a better secret than Eisenhower's golf score. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Hello, Mr. Hello. 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 <clears throat> What's in the box? Oh, it's a cake for Mr. Barrington to celebrate his, his uh, winding up the deal. See, I had it specially decorated for him. Happy escrow. <laughs> Miss Peterson, you, you, you didn't tell anyone what that was for. Oh, no. I, I told the baker that uh, a happy escrow is a Mexican holiday. <laughs> well, well, uh, you hear from me. Yes. Uh, 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 oh, no. Hello. Oh, hello, Charlie. You're still there. Well, that's good. Now, now, just hang on, because I'll be calling you any time now to give the bio. All right. All right. Isn't this exciting? Well, yes, it is, rather. You, you, look, one little piece of land, and then the Barrington jet plant will be a reality. Well, <laughs> well, I hope you like angel food. It's the closest I could get to an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> It was very thoughtful of you, Miss Peterson. Oh, on the way back from the barbershop, I'm going to bring something to go with it. A nice, a nice bottle of dry champagne to launch the deal. Dry champagne? Why don't you get the kind that pours? <laughs> Why doesn't Brad call back? I don't know. Maybe he forgot all about us. I'm going to call him at the office. Hello? Chronicle? Let me talk to Brad Jackson. I got all the dope on the license plate. You have? He's got all the dope on the license plate. Well, why did you call us weekly? <laughs> Brad! What'd you find out, Brad? Who do you think the Jaguar belongs to? Thomas J. Barrington, Jr. The Playboy? Uh -huh. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> the fruitcake hit the jackpot. She doesn't know what she's doing, Brad. We've got to help her. Maybe not, but she's going to be the best-dressed ignoramus in town. <laughs> Find her. Well, I checked all the parking lots and garages. The car is kept at the Astoria Ritz Hotel. Then that's where she is. Let's go. Brad, it's real sweet of you to do this. Why not? I'm very fond of the fruitcake and her roommate. Besides, if we can find Barrington Jr., we can get a beat on that divorce story. 1219 in hurry. Yes. What's that? The line's busy? Well, of course I'll wait. Uh, Macy's department store? Well, uh, I'd like to buy a gift for my roommate. She's mad at me. I... Huh? Uh, any suggestions? No, I have no su... Oh. Well, would you, would you connect me with the gift department? Maybe they know. Barrington. Barrington. Thomas Barrington, Jr. Barrington. Oh, how do you spell it? R-A-T. Who are? <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of Thomas Barrington, Jr.? Oh, I read about him in the papers. He's not registered. Well, isn't there some other way of checking? Uh, just a moment, sir. Oh, operator. I've been holding this instrument for ten minutes. This is an important business call. Well, I've got a... A what? Ten cents more. Well, I haven't got ten cents. <laughs> I ran out of pain. We didn't take a dollar. <laughs> Look. Look. Take this dollar. I'll stuff it in the box. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> no. No, I, I don't think she'd like that. Uh, a purse? No, she's got a purse. <laughs> oh, what kind of perfume do you have? Yeah? Huh? Oh, two here more. Can I smell it? <laughs> oh, nasty. I tell you, there's no Mr. Barrington registered There's here. got to be. Well, if you don't believe me, look for yourself. Baker, Bannister, Bianchi. Mr. Brewer. Hey, maybe you got mixed into the seat. No, man. In this hotel, we don't allow the bees to get mingled with the seed. <laughs> Here, get over to this. Milton J. Clyde, room 1219. Hey. Clyde! Well, let's not stand here gabbing. Come on! Yeah. 
No, I, I don't want to give her anything yellow. I don't look good in it. <laughs> Do you have any cab skin? Oh, uh, somebody's at the door. I'll have to call you back. Thank you very much. Uh, bye. It's me, Mr. Sorry, Mr. Barrington, I was on the phone. Uh, oh, was it Clyde? No, he hasn't called yet. Oh, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> to go. I, I wish Clyde had called. I've got to put in that uh, by order, you oh, know. Don't worry. He'll call. We've got to prepare for the party. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Oh, wait a second. Hey, that's good champagne. Huh? It'll be cold for later. He's icing the champagne. Looks like we've got to get just in time. Well, that's not Mr. Clyde's boy. That must be Barrington Jr. You know, this is just the kind of an occasion that calls for champagne. Oh. The real cornball stuff. I can be a country girl here along with you. Well, I, I'm only a country boy myself. <laughs> Oy vey. You know, I'm kind of nervous. Oh, now, dear, don't be nervous. Just, just relax. How can you relax at a time like this? <laughs> oh, oh, come now. <laughs> He's got to hypnotize. Let's go in. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's getting good. Barrington Senior, jet plane plant. This is the biggest story than I thought. Honey, get the details. I'll yeah. check with the Air Force. Who, who, who is that? Oh, he's all right. He's just the city editor of the Chronicle. Oh, the city editor. Yeah. Well, that's it. Oh, what city editor? The Chronicle. Oh, no, you don't. I'm going to teach you to fool around with my girl. Oh, let me go. If I'm worried if this gets out, the whole... Oh, what's the difference? The whole thing's dead now anyway. It's my fault for going soft. Well, I got it. I got it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> well, what's the matter with you? I got the option. You've got the... Oh, well. There goes the biggest fee I almost ever had. <laughs> well, where were you? Oh, I tried to get you on the phone, but the line was busy. I ran out of change. A woman got in my phone booth. We got into an argument. She yelled for the police. I'm out on bail. <laughs> what difference does it make anyway? Who was on that phone? Well, I certainly wasn't. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> Let her alone. What difference does it make now? The option's expired at 12 o'clock. Oh, 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 but not on this one. You're, oh, well, that's great. That is great. I, I have the land here in the middle, and I've lost all the land around it. Yeah. Well, couldn't you get a, a, a little bitty, 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 bitty factory? No! I'm talking to him! <laughs> build a little bitty factory. You're a big factory. I can't build anything. Oh, come in. Oh, congratulations, Mr. Barrington. Your order to buy went through. You've got all the land. What's my order to buy? I didn't give any order to buy. Well, the order came through your private line right from this week. Well, it couldn't have come on the private. Who could have sent an order to buy? They, they, well, hello. Oh, hello, Brad. I'm sorry I can't talk now. Call you back. Uh -oh. Bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Arrington. I didn't mean to touch that phone. I always oh, doing that. Darn it. Even this morning when I was talking to this to the department store. I had to go to the door to answer it, and then I remembered I didn't say... Bye. 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 Well, I don't know what Irma did, but then I uh, very seldom do. Anyway, I... 
Honey, where are you going? I'm returning all the guests, Miss Barrington, baby. Well, I think that's very wise. Yeah. Hey, what's the idea? That's liable to fall apart. Well, he gave me all these jewels and things with no strings attached. I'm giving them back to him the same way. <laughs> Good girl. And that last remark was uh, just another gem from the collection of the girl I live with and love, my friend Irma.